My name is uh, Lu Shenji. I'm a principal member of tech staff in uh, at and Labs. Today I'm going to show you what we are doing in the labs for telehealth remote monitoring. This is for a project we're doing with uh, Texas Tech University in their geriatric care facilities. We're studying uh, how patients walk and try to detect signatures for uh, dangerous walking. Um, the idea is if we could catch those signatures, uh, we can do some things and eventually preventing the patient from uh, falling down. So we will be giving patients slippers like this. It's very easy to put on, um, very cushy. Inside here, we have a special insole with sensors, pressure sensors embedded. Also, there is a communication board inside in, the, in this part of the shoe which contains accelerometer and the Zigbee communications. This is battery powered. As patient walks, his foot gonna apply, apply pressure to different pressure points in certain sequence. As I'm pressing the heel part, as you can see, the sensor is shown, uh, it's being pressed. And um, this is for movement. Uh, you can see the acceleration. This is a pill minder, smart pill minder. Um, it, it's smart because one, it knows the time, it can tell the, remind the patient verbally that uh, taking how many pills out of which chamber. Two, as the patient does that, this guy actually sends a wireless message over the Zigbee network, again being picked up by a gateway just like this, and being forwarded to a backend server. And eventually, it's going to show up on this patient's dashboard. The idea of the health community online is to present a uniform interface for the doctor, no matter where he is. What patient just took shows up right here, pin number four, and the time is logged. So this is the end-to-end -end action for the tele telehealth monitoring.